Zimiola Umoja leader Raila Odinga has thrown his support behind the Council of Governors in their battle against President William Ruto's proposal to slash county fans to 20 billion shillings. Odinga accuses members of parliament of sabotaging devolution by cutting allocations, triggering a standoff now under mediation between the Senate and the National Assembly. Governors, meanwhile, accuse National Assembly members of using blackmail tactics because governors want a share of the road maintenance levy, a move fiercely opposed by MPs. Melita Oletangas reports. Azimio leader Raila Odinga has blasted members of the National Assembly for demanding a 20 billion reduction in county allocations. Odinga is accusing MPs of deliberately undermining counties and derailing the spirit of devolution. Resources are not going down to the counties. A big chunk of the money going to counties today is purely for the current expenditure, paying salaries to the staff. Very little money is remaining for the governors to do development work. Odinga describes the standoff as a power struggle that has been simmering ever since National Assembly members gained control over the NGCDF. He argues that MPs are now attempting to outmaneuver governors in securing even more resources, a move that threatens to undermine the functioning of counties. They are going to be contractors themselves. Uh, who is going to oversight the government? If the oversight himself is the implementer. It does not happen anywhere in the world. The Council of Governors has accused members of the National Assembly of engaging in blackmail, claiming that MPs are deliberately hindering the disbursement of funds to counties. This, they argue, is being done to pressure governors into withdrawing a case in which they are demanding $10.5 from the Roads Maintenance Levy Fund, a fund that MPs seek to control. Equitable share and the division of revenue has nothing to do with the justice we are seeking in court with respect to the RMLF. Members of parliament should move away from trying to construct roads, from trying to construct health centers, schools and so on. Those are the responsibilities of the county government. The ongoing dispute between MPs and governors over how much revenue counties should receive has escalated into a more heated debate. Governors are accusing the national government of undermining county operations by failing to devolve all necessary functions, hindering their ability to effectively serve their constituents. <laughs> The statement by Odinga goes against a memorandum by President William Ruto in July, which proposed the slashing of funding to counties after the failed Finance Bill 2024. Raila Odinga's statement comes against the backdrop of a hue and cry by governors over the late disbursement of funds to counties. The mediation committee bringing together senators and MPs have failed to agree on this matter so far. Raila Odinga says the dictates of the constitution in revenue allocation to counties must be observed to the latter. Milita, Olitenge, Citizen TV, Capitol Hill, Nairobi.